It's you, Ito Platoon. Let's go. Kasane! Looks like all of you made it out okay. I was able to rescue them thanks to your help. I should be thanking you. I would have been taken over by Babe if you hadn't been there. Hey, Kasane. You're not going to try and kill Yuito again, are you? I already told you. She was the one that saved me. I know. But I want to hear her say it. You have all the right in the world to doubt me. In fact, I don't blame you for it either. Yes, I think it's best to talk for now. We should talk and find a better solution, rather than just forging ahead on assumptions. It took me too long to come to this decision, and I apologize for that. Something's different about you. Can you tell me what happened? Why did you try to kill me? I know this will sound ridiculous, but please hear me out. So my power affected the Kunan Gate. So you knew. Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So... the me in the future... I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. How lame. That's not true. The you in that time was great. And you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I'm proud I have the same power as you. That reminds me. How is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. Liar. He's trying to keep us from worrying. Just like Naomi. All right. We should exchange intel. Then first and foremost, we got some questions. Especially about Kyoka. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka, are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes, I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. Again, this term, design children... I know I've heard it somewhere before. It was when I regained a memory of Mother. Yes, she said I was... made. I see. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. We were shocked when we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Yeah, I believe you. What? That was fast. The way Kasane looks at Kyoka is proof enough. Though, that's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, I don't know much about Kyoka, so I can't really make this decision myself. But I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do, and I thought it was best to trust her. If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. Shiden, there's no need to get so riled up. You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. Yeah, I just remembered how stupid he is. Hey, Kasane. If Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm... What? What are you talking about? In Togetsu, we saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes. I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Care to extrapolate? I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered Mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. 
Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Really? I wasn't trying to be. Anyway, is there anything else you wanted to ask about? Yeah, there is. If you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. Huh? D did you hit your head or something? Oh, so you guys don't know about this? Wait, what he said is true? I yes. All right. I guess we should explain what we've been told. Who should I talk to first? It may be hard to believe, but apparently our ancestors moved here from the moon 2,000 years ago. The people who colonized the moon began a major cleanup effort to save the polluted Earth and make it habitable again. They spent nearly a thousand years on the project. Apparently, human beings colonized the moon over 3,000 years ago because the Earth's environment wasn't livable anymore. It's so long ago, it feels like a fairy tale. The first colonists from the moon were led by Yakumo Sumeragi. What they established on Earth later became known as New Himuka. It's hard to believe, I know. It was after the first colonists from the moon arrived on Earth that the extinction belt suddenly appeared. Because of its appearance, they were no longer able to contact the government on the moon. So... I guess it's safe to assume that there are people on the moon, too? We learned all of this after looking through Togetsu's archive, so I honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it. But if you were a Togetsu spy, Kyoka, you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught. But if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... Actually, no. It's true. It's all for real. What do you mean, Kagura? Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. Kagura, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. Get real! Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. Cold sleep. Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth, and then we're supposed to contact the moon. Uh, hold on. Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? Look, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything, but it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth, so those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon too. So they got to thinking, what can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. The red strings. The time travel power. I see. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again and repeat this history? To be precise, the plan is to only take the Moon and Earth back in time with a few exceptions. 
Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time. They believe the Red Strings can do it. They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time. So future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous. I don't know how to take it all in. Whether you want to believe it or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the Red Strings to carry out their plan. Kasane is the result of that. Although, it's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Let's suppose everything he said is true. That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over Nuhimuka or Seiron. If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No, that's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagero, why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? Can we assume that you are planning to abandon them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way. That sounds great and all, but how are we supposed to believe you? You don't have to. If you've got a problem with me, I'll walk. But whatever happens, I'm not going to sit back and let them get away with erasing this history. I left my family on the moon. I won't let them take her existence, too. Kagero means it. I can tell. It's been a long time since I've seen him like this. So please, trust him. Sugumi. Sugumi knows Kagero best. I think we can trust her judgment. Besides, I have a feeling you trust him already. Yeah. If Sugumi trusts him, then I trust him too. And if Yuito does, then I do too. Of course, I'll kill him if he betrays us. <laughs> of course. I keep making fun of them for being naive, but that's what ends up saving me. If we're going to believe Kagero, then we have to believe all of the history about the colonists from the moon, too. And then figure out what we can do, knowing that. We're stopping Togetsu's plan. That's all we can do. But it's too much for us to handle alone. We need someone who can move nations. Are you going to ask New Himuka for help? We're fugitives there. Even so, we have to. That doesn't mean I forgive them for the things they're doing, though. If they know what Togetsu is trying to do, they might realize their terrible actions are all in vain. What if we asked Seiron for help? If they know about the Togetsu threat, they might realize that New Himuka isn't who they should be fighting. I wonder. As far as I know, both New Himuka and Seiron should have a clear understanding about the Moon colonists and their history. On top of that, they're both scheming to survive. At least it's better than nothing. I don't want to just sit here and wait to be erased. Indeed. So, we should split up and give it a shot? Yes, let's do that. Yuito, you go to New Himuka. And you go try explaining things to Seiron. Now we're finally after the same thing. Let's do our best. Ugh, what an exhausting day. Way too much happened. You don't get to say that! At least you already knew about the moon and Togetsu's plan! I'm sorry. Look, let's not start pointing fingers. We should sit down and try to process what we learned. I agree. We've been in the dark all this time, but not anymore. That's right. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu. Kyoka, Kagero, you both all right with that? Yes, of course. This is what I want, to be with all of you. So wait, you decided to trust me? Shiden, you're so sweet. 
You're making me regret it talking like that. Are you blushing? Dang it, you caught me. You know, kids wouldn't talk to adults like that back in my day. I swear I'll never betray you. If I did, these last 2,000 years would be for nothing. Then let's set out for Ceyron after we get some rest. I'm glad Yuito trusted us. He's such a kid, though. I can't tell if he's honest, a sucker, or just too nice. Yes, you're right. But that might be what makes him strong. Sorry to keep you waiting. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Oh, Kasane. Oh! What is it? N nothing But you just look like you noticed something. Did you see something with your clairvoyance? <sighs> well, I won't pry if it's uncomfortable for you to share. Um... Yes? Your left knee. My left knee? You may not have noticed, but there's a bruise. You might have hit it during a fight. Oh, now that you mention it, I did hit it in my last fight. I think you should get that treated. The bone isn't hurt, but it might leave a mark. Good idea. I'll get it looked at when I get back to the hideout. I'm surprised you noticed. I had a feeling you were subconsciously favoring your left leg when you were walking over here. I was worried, so I couldn't help but use my power. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Why are you apologizing? I should be thanking you for telling me about my injury. Because I violated your privacy by looking under your clothes. It's not good to use my power without permission like that. Ah, I see. That's why you felt uncomfortable telling me. I suppose that would be the general consensus. Some things are off-limits. I'm not a child anymore, but I'm still doing the same stuff as back then. Did something happen when you were younger? Yes. I didn't realize back then that what I can see isn't something I necessarily should see. When I told people what I saw, they would get uncomfortable and sometimes get scared of me. I finally realized that I shouldn't be doing things like that. That looking underneath someone's clothes or inside their home was bad. Is it really so bad? What? I mean, nobody wants to have their secrets revealed. You wouldn't like that, would you? To be honest, that wouldn't really bother me. Really? Yeah, I don't have any secrets. People can look all they want. Are you saying you can see inside people's bodies, too? Yes. It can be a little revolting if you're not used to it. Then not only can you see injuries, you can detect internal diseases early as well. That means your power can save lives. It's fascinating. There really aren't many that can do that. I think it's a wonderful power. Uh, you're the first person other than Kagura to say that. That's surprising. I thought the OSF would evaluate your effectiveness quite highly. They tell me it's effective in battle, but my power hasn't often been noted for its everyday uses. I've been mindful in trying to avoid seeing things, or not talk about it if I do see something. It's a strange feeling being told I can look. It does take a weight off my shoulders, though. Well, that's good. Yes. Thanks, Kasane. Thank you. 
for finding my injury. By the way, didn't you have something you wanted to discuss? Oh, we can talk about that some other time. Really? I still have time now. It's okay, really. I'll talk to you about it the next time I see you. Sure. See you then. She seems to have a lot on her mind. I can't help but be a little concerned. Next time I see her, I need to make sure we talk. Gamma. I'm sorry to bother you about this, Kasane. It's fine. I wanted to talk to you too, to apologize. Why? I'm the one who should say sorry. You don't have any reason to apologize to me. I just dumped all my feelings on you without any regard for yours. If I'm being honest, I still don't think I completely understand how you feel right now. However, after everything I've experienced lately, I think I can imagine it a little. Did something happen? You really felt like you wanted to die? Not me, Naomi. She said that she didn't want to live anymore. She didn't want to live as an other, her sanity being maintained with medicine made of human brains. She said that? I didn't understand her at the time. I wanted her to live no matter what it meant, but now I partly understand where she's coming from. That feeling that makes you want to run away from life when things are so incredibly hard and painful. If that's what you were feeling, then I realized I didn't have any right to complain to you. Thank you for understanding. Let me just say it again. I shouldn't have unloaded my feelings of self-pity on you. I'm old enough to know better. So I brought you something as a token of apology. Is that a packed lunch? Yeah, they're all from the recipes Naomi gave me. I don't know if you're hungry or not, but maybe you'd be willing to give them a taste. Thank you. I wanted to taste what her recipes were like. This is stir-fried mackerel and green peppers. This is vegetable namol, and that's shredded meat. Wow, you really went all out. I'm still learning, so I've burnt some of them. It may not look appetizing, but it should still be edible. I'll take this then. Not bad. It does remind me of my sister's cooking a little. Really? Yes. It doesn't even come close to the real thing, though. I see. But getting you to say that it reminds you of it is still an accomplishment. It's fairly good and a little familiar. It must have taken you a while to make all of this. It wasn't a big deal. Cooking helps calm me. It's perfect for self-reflection. You think so? Yes. Although, I used to think it was a waste of time. I thought about what you said while I cooked. Which part? I think I said a lot the last time we talked. About how I wanted to roll over and die, and how that was selfish. It really hit me hard, thinking how much Naomi wants to live in her original body. And about how much all my friends who died in battle would have wanted to live. It made me realize that wasting whatever life I have left was disrespecting their memory. Part of me thinks you're taking it a little too seriously, but I'm glad I got through to you. I might be too serious, but I plan to live the rest of my life to its fullest. How? 
First thing is to get back to eating healthy with Naomi's recipes. I also want to reevaluate the way I spend my weekends. Maybe find a new hobby besides cooking. Sounds like a good idea. And I'm sure your cooking will get better with practice. Then I guess I'll keep at it. Would you mind tasting more of my food sometime? Of course. Thanks. I still have trouble figuring out what's good or bad since I've never been concerned about how my cooking tasted before. You seem like you're enjoying it. I am, although it stresses me out while I'm doing it. Well, maybe I enjoy that part too. He looks so alive. Maybe he started to feel more positive about his life. You look so relieved, Major. Your beauty just shines through. There's a weight off my chest now that I told you everything. What about you? Me? Can't you tell? I'm so refreshed from talking that I'm 50% more fresh-faced. I see. Hey, Kasane, you free right now? I guess so. What is it this time? You remember my promise from before, right? A fun and exciting date with your one and only Daddy Kagero. You're not my father, and I'm not interested in a date. What? You told me the last one was super boring. You shattered my fragile heart into itty-bitty pieces. You're still bothered by that? Fine, I'll say it was fun. No, no, that's not what I mean. I want to make up for it. Besides, you know how I hid my past? I wanted to apologize for that. So this is like a second chance coupled with an apology. 
The apology is fine, but I don't know why it has to be with a date. It's like my dream, I guess? Just say yes, please. Let me show you a good time you won't forget. So, how was it? The dining experience at Baki's Cafe is supposed to be very popular with high school girls. I think Naomi and Yuito would have enjoyed it more, but it was fun. No complaints here. Next up is dessert. I'll get you anything you want. Cake? Parfait, maybe? I'm fine with just tea. <laughs> I figured you'd say that. Already got a cup. Wait, when did you... Oh... You used your invisibility power. That's an interesting use for it. You can't just reveal my secret like that. Even if you know how it's done, it's more fun when you pretend you don't. Like this. I grew this flower from a seed. The flower symbolizes hidden kindness. A perfect match for you. So, what do you think so far? Well, you seem to be following the standard dating norms I read in magazines but they all have a nice Kagero twist. However, something's bothering me. You've gone through a lot of effort just to make up for lying. You're either really perceptive or overly distrusting. But yeah, I guess it's time I tell you. The truth is, I tried to assassinate you back in the day, so that's kind of included in this apology. Assassinate? Hmm. From the looks of it, you haven't realized it at all. Guess that means I still got it. Fortunately, I didn't have to go through with it, but I was waiting for the right opportunity. Like trying to be alone with you. As the one you were targeting, I believe I have a right to know why. It was to stop Togetsu's plan. Their plan hinged on your power, so I thought that killing you might be the best option left for me. Of course, now that you've decided not to support them, I've got no reason to hurt you. You can trust me on that. Well, I don't doubt that, but I'm still not satisfied. What, really? I guess this wouldn't be enough to make up for trying to kill you. I could do something even... It's not that. It's just... killing someone. Is it that easy for you to do? I don't understand how you could make that decision so easily even if it is to achieve your goal. There's no way I could do that. I see what you're saying. That makes sense. I mean, it's not like I don't value life or anything like that. But yeah, if I seem cynical about it, it's probably because I don't feel like I'm very... alive, I guess you could say. I'm like a ghost from the past, existing in a time when his family and everyone he knew is long gone. Your family. You mentioned you left them on the moon. Yeah, I had a wife and daughter. My daughter was simply the cutest. You'd be surprised she was related to me. She didn't have a bad bone in her body. I loved her dearly and she meant so much to me. But in the end, I couldn't do anything for her as a father. What's even more sad is that I've got no idea what kind of person she grew up to be. I mean, really, could I be a worse father? That's why, at the very least, I want to protect the life she lived. I'll do whatever it takes, even if it means turning against my homeland. I might even kill if it comes down to it. <sighs> How about we leave this off here? I think you've heard enough. All right. So, what did you think of Daddy Kagero's date? Pretty awesome, right? Yes, I would say it was worthwhile. I think I learned a little about who you are. Ah, you finally realized what a wonderful, charming person I am. Oh, I'm such a heartbreaker. Although, I still don't know how serious you are because you always joke around. 
You know, I don't really know either. Huh? Just kidding. Sorry to make you help me fulfill my dreams today. See you later. I wonder what he meant by that. I feel like I got to know him a little better, but trying to understand other people isn't that easy. There's a rumor lately that I've been using my power to spy on people. I would never do that, you know? I mean, I can't say I haven't thought about it. Do I look desperate enough to spy on people? It's because you're always so thoughtless, but I know you're not like that. Oh, thanks. That's my Kasane. I like that you're always so cool-headed. to get closer to me? Aw, oh, shucks. <sighs> I guess I would like to understand you better. Good taste. Wonderful! It might be good to talk to Arashi. said I wanted you to help me with a job for payment of the rations that you treated me to yeah I'm going to cash that in now don't worry the job will be worth your time what are all these looks like empty bottles junk parts candy wrappers and they're all mixed together exactly I need you to sort them why do you have so much? I kind of got lazy and didn't get around to cleaning them up. Oh, yeah, take care of this trash bag for me, too. Don't throw it. You got trash everywhere again. Hmm? Now what could this be? You don't see that many handwritten letters anymore. How interesting. Oh, that. You can throw that out, too. But it's unopened. Let's see. It's from Major General Fubuki. What if it's important? Are you sure you don't want to check it? Then he would have messaged me instead of using this archaic method. If you're that curious, be my guest and read it. Don't mind if I do. You didn't even hesitate. So, anything surprising? 
No. Basically, he's filling you in on what he's been up to. Also, he says not to drink too much soda. I thought so. He sends me letters filled with stuff that doesn't matter. I don't get it at all. I would reply to a message, but a letter? Just opening it is a pain. If he's going through the trouble of handwriting a letter, don't you think it means there's something special he's trying to get across? If that's the case, then you should really cherish these. You never know what could happen to us next. Look, it's not that I don't understand what you're saying, but these letters have been piling up, and just finding a place to keep them is a pain. Besides, just getting the letter lets me know that he's doing okay. So you can throw this in the trash. Fubuki and I aren't like you sisters. You're awfully stubborn. Exactly. You're a perceptive one. She's so very different from me and Naomi. Especially how little she seems to care about her brother. Still... Arashi, remember the Major General Fubuki you saw in the future? Yeah, what about him? You were angry, weren't you? I mean, you saw it with your own eyes. You keep saying that you're not those kinds of siblings, but it doesn't feel that way to me. So why... I mean, of course I'd get mad if he died. I feel like human emotion is a strange mechanism. Really? More importantly, Kasane, I don't see your hands sorting through the trash. Huh? That was a good distraction, but you're not getting out of your work. I wasn't trying to get out of it. I'm not like you. Great. Then good luck here. I'll be busy skipping out on my own work. Have fun. Looks like she dodged my question. I've been in the OSF a long time, and a rookie as good as you is a rare thing. You mean a rookie who's easy to give your work to? I can't just give my work to anyone. I chose you because I know you can handle it. Also, because I trust you personally, even outside of work. So, I'll trust you to keep working as an extension of myself. You're intriguing. I'm discovering more and more of your good qualities. someone isn't a bad thing. You know what I like. Thanks. Guys, everyone's free later, so why don't we have a party? Ooh, sounds good, Major. The word party just gets me going. Sorry, but I'll pass. Just hearing the word party, ugh, makes me sleepy. Ridiculous. We're OSF. We're not here to fool around. It's not fooling around. If we can work together and understand each other, we'll fight better together. Also, it will make a good memory. Of course, this is only if everyone wants to. I'm in. We've been fighting so much lately without any kind of break. I'm definitely in, Major. We need to enjoy life while we can. I don't think I'll have much fun, but what you said makes sense, and I have no reason to object. 
So it's four to two. I don't think I have the energy to try to stop this from happening. All right, you forced me to accept. Thanks, it's decided then. Let's work together to get ready. Hold up, I'm not helping. I still don't want to do this. Oh, really? I have something really important I want you to do, though. Important? Decorating the hideout. This will test your taste. It's difficult, but I thought you could handle it, Sheedan. My taste? Well, if I left it to you guys, the hideout would probably look awful. All right, I'll do it. You're pretty easy. Thanks, Sheedan. Arashi, you take care of the food. Haruka, can you be the party MC? The food? Okay, I'll give it a shot. I'll do it. It should be like the operator work I always do. Okay, I'll take care of keeping it fun. I'll make this the best party ever. After all that, you're not going to help? You're such a jerk. What should I do, Kyoka? You and I can split up and help everyone out. <laughs> this is going to be so fun. Um, Arashi? I'm here to help you cook. What are you doing? Nothing. It took all I had just to get here. I wonder what food we should make for our party. I guess it's okay as long as it's edible. I feel the same. Hmm. I guess whatever we make, it will satisfy both of us. If a third of the guests are satisfied, I call that a good party. That means I know just what to make. What is it? <laughs> the best food I can think of, and the most efficient. We don't need to do any prep work, which means my work is over. See ya. I guess you don't need any help then. I'll go somewhere else. What are you here for? I thought you could use a hand. I'll help if you need it. I'm fine. Kyoka will just reverse calculate the time her duplicates could decorate in and do it that way. I never thought I'd be doing such childish work in the OSF. It's in order though, so I won't slack off. Check it out. It looks a lot different, right? Um, I guess. What? Are you saying this is too plain? I'll go look for something more flashy. I wasn't criticizing him. Well, he looks motivated, so I'll leave him to it. There you are, Kagero. Why are you invisible? Oh, um, I was just doing some thinking. The more I thought, the deeper the problem got. I mean, how am I going to make this party exciting? Arashi is being Arashi and Shiden is being Shiden. Does it need to be exciting? We're just getting together to have some food. <sighs> and you're acting like this. It would be horrible if the party ends on a low note. Would it? Anyway, is there anything I can help you with? You could probably handle call and response. When I say, are we having fun during the party, you yell out, yeah! I want it to at least seem exciting, and if you don't reply, I'll look stupid. I think you'll look stupid anyway. Fine, I'll say it if you need me to. That's my Kasane. Now, we need something with impact. Something that will really wow them. Oh, Kasane. Haruka is working on her opening speech. How is everyone else doing? Well, they're all doing their jobs. You seem pretty excited. <laughs> I am. I've wanted to have a party with everyone for a while. Now we finally have a chance, and they're all helping. It's like a dream come true. It is rare for this group to work together on something. Everyone usually goes at their own pace. Ooh, I'll have to work that into my speech. Kyoka really seems excited. I hope everything is ready for the party.
And so I'd like to thank everyone for coming together and use this opportunity to deepen the bonds between comrades. Haruka, I don't want to upset you, but that's enough. You've been talking for 15 minutes. A has it been that long? Um, so that's all for my speech. <laughs> Let's start the party. Woohoo! Nice, Haruka! Are we having fun? Yeah. That was horrible. I think that actually brought everyone down. You saying things like that brings everyone down. What's with these lights you put up anyway? Oh, uh, I thought I should put up something flashy. I may have overdone it a little. Flashy? It's so bright we can't even see the room. I, I just did my job. If you're talking about problems, what about this food? This is the full course I prepared. Enjoy the splendid feast. No need to thank me. It's just soda and rations. This is no splendid feast. It's worse than what we usually eat. That hurts. I did what I could to find a flavor that pairs well with soda. Ugh, just as lazy as ever. Um, what should we do? This isn't much like a party. I'm sorry. It was my plan, so I'm responsible. I thought everyone could have a good time, but I forced you all into this. What are you saying, Kyoka? I'm having a pretty good time. Huh? This is the best party I've been to. Shiden is complaining, but his face says he's having fun. What? I... I guess I'm not bored. I spent so much time getting ready. You're not gonna up and cancel it now, are you? You too. Yeah, it's a little lazy and haphazard, but it's more us than your average party. It is the kind of party we'd throw, and it's a party as long as you have fun. Thank you. All of you. You're right. Let's have our kind of party. Party's back on. Next up is Shiden's performance. Can we have a round of applause, everyone? Huh? Performance? No one said anything about a performance. Oh? Kagero told me to say that. What's going on, Kagero? Oh, you know. I heard from Captain Seto there was a special performance only an electrokinesis user could put on. Y you can't mean... He did teach me how to do it, but it's not supposed to be a performance. Come on. You're going to let that legendary technique go to waste? I want to see you do something cool. <sighs> Fine. I'll show you. Feast your eyes on this! Eek! What is this? Wow! Oh, nice! Show us more. <laughs> oh, looks like you're having fun too, Kasane. I guess a party was a good idea. Yeah, I didn't expect it, but this is pretty fun. Just like Hyoka said, this will be a good memory. It might be good to talk to Arashi.
This is nice. You know what I like. Thanks.
Clean appearance is the least you can do as a human being. It seems that you at least pay attention to that. It's only natural for you to rely on me. Looks like there's a resource reading around here.
Is it me, or are we hanging out a lot? I'll tend to my weapons later. Have we been spending a lot of time together lately?
Thank <laughs> you. 